You know, it is an undeniable fact that Canada might not have fared well under former Prime Minister Stephen Harper. But you will agree that compared to Harper's, Canada has been more badly administered and made messy under the Justin Trudeau Liberal government. And coupled with his poor fiscal policies and runaway spending, it has only gotten worse, plunging Canada into severe inflation and an economic mess. For the past two years, inflation has become a significant problem in Canada and Justin Trudeau, together with the rest of his cabinet members, hasn't ceased to stop making it worse with their arbitrary policies and crazy money printing. It all started with a lot of Canadian taxpayers' dollars going out the way that wasn't supposed to go and being spent, without deeper thinking and fiscal analysis on clout-chasing ventures that were not really necessary. All that has plunged Canada into a historically high inflationary spiral that hasn't been experienced by the people of Canada in many decades. And at this point, it is evident that the majority of Canadians don't even need the aid of Statistics Canada to accept the harsh reality that they are now paying more for little at the grocery stores, and with each passing day, it continues to get difficult to get by economically in Canada. But what's more shocking is that the crux of the whole inflation problem could eventually see Canada entering into a recession sooner than we all expected. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing a lot of issues that you need to know in order to stay informed with regard to the dangerously looming recession that Canada is heading towards. So stay with us and watch this video till the end. And if you're watching this channel for the first time, you are highly welcome to Front Page News. Here we are dedicated to bringing you the latest news updates without the ill-concealed and abundant hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media. Please take a moment to support us by subscribing to this channel, liking this video and our other videos, and sharing it with other people. You might as well consider turning on your post notifications so you never miss any of our regular video uploads. That said, let's quickly continue. Apparently, a large number of economists are of the view that Canada is heading towards a recession by 2023. And this latest warning is coming from the Royal Bank of Canada, the largest bank and multinational financial services in Canada, whose economists say that a recession is dangerously looming and most likely at this point. A report released by the bank last week stated that the persisting inflation, aggressive monetary policies of the central bank, and interest rate spikes are major contributing factors to their recession forecast. Here's what the report author, Nathan Jansen, said. Recession has become, in our view, the most likely outcome. It doesn't take a whole lot at that point to push you into negative GDP growth rates at some point next year, which is how a recession is defined. Meanwhile, the Royal Bank Canada economists had stated that the Bank of Canada would follow the United States Federal Reserve's decision and soon hike rates by 75 basis points. And at the same time, they further mentioned that the central bank could hike rates to 3.25% by the end of the year. Speaking on the report, Jansen further explained, Strong domestic demand for housing and services has intensified these pressures, and the labor crunch is driving wages higher. Unemployment could jump by 1.5% to 6.6% as pressures continue to contract Canada's economy. When you see unemployment starting to jump more significantly, that'll probably be the first sign that we're in a recessionary backdrop. Yeah, you read that right. And to make things look more gloomy, an expert economist at Macquarie Group David Doyle added that Canada could eventually face a worse recession than the United States this time around. In his words, Doyle explains that, when a country has recessions, the lion's share of the weakness in gross domestic product tends to come from residential investment. Here's what he said. We think the effect of the recession will be much more severe in terms of the drawdown on GDP growth, in terms of how high unemployment will rise. That will be much more severe in Canada than what we foresee in the United States. Apparently, all evidence is pointing to the harsh reality that Canada's economy could eventually be the worst-performing advanced economy compared to its G7 peers in the next decades from now. But of course, even if we don't want to lay all the blame for this economic mess under the feet of Justin Trudeau liberal government, because we also have to put into consideration that a lot of countries are facing global inflation, but we can't do away with the fact that there are certainly a lot of the poor decisions of the Trudeau liberal government that has made economic issues worse in Canada. It was evident that the Trudeau Liberals saw the looming recession coming but still chose to do whatever pleased them and their vainglorious clout-chasing personalities while leaving the majority of the people of Canada to bear the brunt. It started from the Trudeau Liberal government inherently turning the Canadian Central Bank into an automated teller machine and making it print more money like a mad company. And in the space of two years, the Central Bank had printed a whopping $400 billion of new money and that it sent Canada into a historically high inflationary spiral and created another mess of housing crisis in the country. At the same time, another cause for this economic clutter would be how Justin Trudeau has ridiculously pronounced a high tax on carbon emissions just to be in the good books of Klaus Schwab and the rest of the world economic forum globalists. 
And as if that was not enough, despite cries from different angles on the negative impacts of more carbon tax, Justin Trudeau still doubled down on carbon tax through the introduction of the clean fuel standard. And he's still not backing out, knowing quite well that his decisions have led to skyrocketing prices of goods at grocery stores owing to a tremendous increase in production costs. Meanwhile, the vaccine mandates for truckers that the narcissistic Trudeau refuses to lift have caused the economic problems in Canada to become bigger. You all would remember that the truckers had warned that the vaccine mandates could result in difficulty in the supply chain. And of course, they were right. The strict mandates on the truckers have led to a severe spike in the price of goods in Canada. And the majority of Canadians keep getting sticker shock at various grocery stores when shopping. In the same vein, despite the fact that Canada boasts of being the third biggest supplier of oil in the world, it is rather very unfortunate and shocking that the Trudeau Liberal government continues to import around 130,000 barrels of oil overseas every day. I mean, this is just very ridiculous and disturbing. We are in enough economic mess as it is. The Trudeau Liberal government needs to stop making it worse to prevent the people of Canada from getting extremely hurt by the predicted recession. That's all for today, guys. Please let's know your opinion on this in the comment section below. Also, make sure to leave a like for this video, share it with as many people as possible, and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for our next upload. You should also check some of our other videos and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.